I started my previous journey at university at Superfocum Rubica Valenciennes using Maya. After getting an internship at Dark Matters, I discovered the world of Unreal Engine. Before my eyes opened a universe of possibilities thanks to real time and the ability to make gorgeous environments and cinematics. My newly discovered passion pushed me to go even further with personal projects. For the past two months, I set myself a challenge to make a previous cinematic of a high octane action film in a one shot sequence. So, in this video, I will show you how I made a previs of Netflix's Extraction 2 inside of Unreal Engine 5. I first started out by, of course, watching the movie and selecting the part I wanted to make for this exercise. <laughs> Yep, that part. Perfection. After that, I took out my pen and paper and did some maths. I needed to find the distance the train would travel throughout the sequence. Research told me the film was set in Czech Republic, where trains are limited at 160 kilometers an hour. So, using my good old physics lessons from high school, I remember it well. What happened? I could easily calculate that the train in the sequence travels over four kilometers giving me my 3D world size. I believe we did. Next up was planning out what I would start with, the modeling phase. I started with the character's face, which I made in MetaHuman Creator to get Chris Hemsworth's stuntman so as not to get canceled by his team of trusty lawyers. I then modeled the body in Maya, exported it to Blender to merge with the MetaHuman rig then imported that into Unreal to replace the MetaHuman's body, making his skin transparent to avoid his fabulous feet and flip-flops to show when animating. Next step was the train. This was probably the longest modeling I've ever done as I had to make the exterior and interior while keeping similar dimensions to the film. The train took me about four days to model, so yeah. After that came the little extra props like train tracks and the railroad crossing, but that was pretty quick. Finally, I pre-modeled the layout of the tunnel really quickly in Maya in order to have the exact dimensions I needed in the Unreal environment and to be able to place the snow and trees later on. The soldiers came last. I downloaded a cool model from Sketchfab and rigged it using Mixima. I then imported all this into Unreal for the layout phase. I used mega scans for the snow and the pines I found off the marketplace for free, which I modified in the materials to make the leaves snowy too. The four kilometer layout took me about a week or two. I also implemented nanites in this project to have automatic level of details to make the whole thing lighter to load and put less details and trees in the sections we can't see in the sequence. In hindsight, I could have put none, but I still wanted some shadows coming from the right hand side of the train. So it ended up pretty useful in the end. Then came animating. During my internship at Dark Matters, I was lucky enough to handle motion capture for animation. So I already had a good understanding of the workflow. I chose to do the same in this project as it was faster to get good results for what I wanted. Instead of using $5,000 motion capture suits, which wasn't in my budget, I decided to use the Cascadeur software, which allowed me to import videos of myself and my mates acting out the different characters and then convert them into animations on the Unreal mannequin using AI as a tool in this project. For the MetaHuman character, 
importing the animations was as easy as a drag and drop into the sequencer as the meta human is compatible with the Unreal Mannequin. For the soldiers, however, it was quite different as they did not have the same rig. For them, I had to add bones to their rigs and create custom control rigs with back and forward solving, which was quite a long and tedious process, but proved to be worth it in the end, as after a couple hours of work, it was working using the IK Retargeter. Once all the setup was done, I was finally able to start putting in the animations and animate the character in the sequence. I chose to group everything that was on the train to the train in the outliner, even the helicopter, so that I could move the train anywhere and everything would follow, kind of like sheep. The rest was all just dropping the animations, blending them together, baking them in, and touching them up in additive, adding the guns that were attached to their hands. The camera was grouped to Chris Hemsworth's stuntman, as I wanted it to follow him throughout the entire sequence. I animated it to keep the shots as close as possible to the film and then added some custom camera shapes that I made in blueprints by adding random rotations. I also ended up animating some camera shapes by hand in order to add more emphasis on certain actions and to add more variety as if the camera had been handheld. The final step was the VFX. I needed to make the helicopter explode and some massive snow avalanche type thing that would go up onto the train and the character and fly past the camera. I had learnt Houdini at university, but I unfortunately did not have the license at home. After doing some research on real-time effects, I came across Embergen, a real-time version of Houdini, basically. After hours of watching various tutorials, I was able to make this cool explosion that I imported into Unreal as a heterogeneous volume that I could customise using the density and temperature attributes in its material. For the snow, I chose to do it differently, however, and cheat a little bit for efficiency. I grabbed some stock footage off the internet, made an alpha so as not to have a background using After Effects, and converted it to an MP4 RGBA that I could import into Unreal as a media file on a 3D plane. I cheated the explosion by making the plane simply scale up and move towards the camera, giving the illusion of a massive explosion. And that was pretty much it. Ready to export. I made some custom console variables to optimize my render times and exported it using the movie render queue and Lumen. And there we go. My challenge was completed. Hope you enjoy it.